dear students and my dear viewers welcome back in this session we are going to discuss about the introduction and the course of the ureter anatomy now we will see the introduction a pair of ureters right and left which are 25 centimeters or 10 inches long narrow thick walled muscular tubes retroperitoneally located connects the lower end of the pelvis that is the renal pelvis with the urinary bladder the main function of the ureters are to convey or conduct urine from the kidneys to the urinary bladder. The upper half of its length that is 5 inches lies in the abdominal part and lower half of the ureter that is five, another 5 inches lies in the true pelvis that is lateral pelvic wall. It measures 3 millimeters in diameter but it is slightly constricted at 5 places. Now we will see the course of the ureter. For better understanding the course of the ureter, we are going to discuss in the following manner that is course in the abdominal part and another one is the course in the pelvic part. Now we will see the course in the abdominal part. It occurs in two stages from a renal pelvis up to the ureter proper and from ureter proper up to the entry of ureter into the pelvis. Now we will see the first stage that is from renal pelvis to the ureter proper. So the ureter begins within the renal sinus as a funnel shaped dilatation called the renal pelvis of the ureter. This renal pelvis is formed from two or three major calluses. This thing we have already discussed in the coronal structure of the kidneys. Okay, The pelvis runs from the hilus of the kidney descends along its medial border okay gradually narrows till the lower end of the kidney where it becomes the ureter proper this is the course of the ureter in the abdominal part from renal pelvis to the ureter part now we will see the course of course from ureter proper up to the pelvis okay so the ureter proper of each ureter runs downwards and slightly medially on the tips of the transverse processes and the psoas major and ends and enters the pelvis and enters the pelvis by crossing in front of the termination of the common iliac artery this is about the course in the abdominal Part. Now we will discuss about the general course of the ureter in the pelvis. As all of you know that the urinary bladder is located on the anterior aspect. After entering in, into the pelvis the ureter is still located on the posterior aspect. From posterior aspect to the anterior aspect the course of the ureter now we are going to discuss. Okay, So in the lesser or true pelvis the ureter first runs downwards and slightly backwards and laterally following the anterior margin of the greater sciatic notch opposite to the ischial spine. So here also you can see this is the anterior margin of the greater uh, sciatic notch and opposite to the ischial spine. Okay. This is called the vertical part of the ureter in the pelvis and then it turns forward and medially to reach the base of the urinary bladder. So this is the second part or the oblique part of the ureter in the pelvis. So here also it turns forward and medially to reach the urinary bladder. So inside the urinary bladder also some part of the ureter is present that part is called as intravesicular part. So this is about the course in the pelvic part. In the next session we are going to discuss about the normal constrictions of the ureter. Thank you.